Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial. I'm in Photoshop CC 2019 and I'm going to show you how to create your own swatch. Your own unique color swatch from scratch here. So let's just get right into this. I've got a stock image selected here and that's really, really nice. And the reason why you'd want to do something like creating your own swatch is let's say you select a color like in here that you really like the color of the mountain or the sky and you want to reuse that specific color in this project or other projects, you can create a swatch and that's how you do it. So let's just dig right in. First step is you want to go, uh, once you've got an image open, you want to go to your eyedropper tool. Now I've got it over here, right here, you're gonna see here, eyedropper. I'm gonna open it up just so you see, just press that and you've got eyedropper, good to go. The next step is you want to select the color that you really, really like. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and say this color blue here between where the sky gets starts to go between the light colors and the darker sky. Beautiful color. I want that. I'm going to left click on it. And at the top, you're going to see the nice teal color. Boom. We've selected the color. Now, the color shows up here in the color section. And it also shows up here as the foreground color. Now, the next step come along with me is you want to go to your swatches panel now if your swatches panel isn't open it's one of the different uh, windows that you can open so you go up here to window and make sure the check mark is beside swatches just in case it's not open it should be open but whatever we'll see now the next step is you want to go here to this little hamburger menu left click on that and then you want to go to new swatch now when you do that, you see here the color, which is the one that we selected. We have the option to name it. So I'm going to name this sky teal. And I also have the option to check or uncheck to add to my current library. I'm going to add it to my library just so you guys can see it. I'm going to left click on OK. A couple things happen. One, it's in my library, which is great. Two, in the swatches panel at the bottom you're gonna see here that I've got this color now and when I hover over it it says sky teal so if we were to go to another document like this one and let's just say I was to select this rectangle and I was to left click on the teal well I can go ahead and make the uh, color to well let's just create a new let's just create a new box just so you can see it so left click gonna run and drag it the color here is yellow. I don't want it to be yellow. I left click on it. I'm going to go down here to the new color that I used, that we created, and boom. We are now using the new swatch, and it is good to go. That's why you use swatches. Create, you know, in new documents, you can reuse this color over and over and over again without having to go in and do all that other monkey stuff. So that's all you got to do, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. i got a lot more stuff coming up. Be back soon.